We have some more great things lined up for you. Um, it is time to reimagine. And what are we reimagining? We are now reimagining a more equitable and nourishing, resilient food system. And how are we going to do that? Well, before we turn to our next set of speakers, we're going to share some ideas and opportunities um, to transform food systems for the future. And we have our very first challenge for you. And to do that, we are going to turn it over to Dr. Fabrice de Klerk, who is the Science Director at EAT, coming to us live and direct from France, and also Chef Michael Alekbede, coming to us from Nigeria to say more. Welcome, Fabrice and Michael. Thanks, Natalie. Wow, what a great uh, stories of hope. I particularly like the chat uh, function, what we're seeing there. Michael, how are you, buddy? It's been a long time since you last spoke in Stockholm. COVID's really shaken things up. Uh, what are you seeing in Lagos? Hi, Fabrice. Great catching up with you. It's been a challenging period in Lagos due to the circumstances, but it's also given us a chance to explore and the diverse foods and ingredients that we have locally. I'm sorry to hear that, Michael, but my heart really goes out to you and all, all Nigerians. But despite how terrible this pandemic's been, I think as we've heard in today's session, it's really allowed people to call into question their relationship with food. I had an Indian colleague last week who just referred to how confinement cooking at home has allowed people to rediscover the love affair with food. Someone in the chat said, we were all making sourdough. Uh, Paul, in the previous session, I think was quite importantly pointing out that when we need to change, we can change. I hope we can move into a plan change through some of these uh, ideas. But you mentioned diversity, uh, and this is a topic that I know you and I are both deeply passionate about. And I'm thrilled that Massimo and Emmanuel also emphasized at the start of today's session. Some of the chat also flagged that they're digging deeper in their pantry and rediscovering ingredients lost in its dark recesses. In conservation, we're always framing the issue as less of something, less energy, less water, less fertilizer. But diversity is the one thing that we need more of. Here we're talking about reimagining food. And I find that 20 species making up 80% of the foods we eat is completely unimaginative. You just don't get nutritious, regenerative, or resilient food systems of 20 species. And those are the three adjectives we heard flagged out at the start. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to challenge you and everyone online to see if we can exponentially diversify our ingredient list. Can we crowdsource 2,000 ingredients over the next hour? I'm getting told that I'm not likely to break 200, but I'm hoping that you, Michael, and everyone online can help to prove me wrong. I don't know, Fabrice, but I'm willing to guess you'll break at least 3,000, but I accept your challenge and also invite everyone online to join. There are more than 5,000 of you joining us today. Each one of you adding one ingredient would blow Fabrice's challenge out of the water. Go to Slido, add an ingredient, hit return, add another ingredient, hit return again, add in as many ingredients as you like. Um, fruits, nuts, seeds, vegetables, shellfish, even insects. That gave me some hope. But let's see if I can get you to set the pace. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to list as many ingredients as you can and have you tell us a little bit about each one. Are you ready? Game on. All right, ready? Go. Black eyed peas with scotch bonnet, tomatoes, onions with bell peppers for a tasty porridge, uda omelo, calabash nutmeg, uda, control onion, catfish for a lovely pepper soup, millet, ginger, sweet potato, alligator peppers for a fermented kunu drink, hibiscus leaves with pineapple for zobo drink, cassava for fufu, eaten with banga, made with oborumbebe, otaiko, and palm fruit, moringa leaves, dawa dawa, michiano, to make mianzogale, finished with ogogor, a local spirit. <laughs> Not bad, Michael. It's in 30 seconds. Do you think you can do better? <laughs> let's uh, let's go. Know. Let's see if we can uh, try. <laughs> Ready, set, go. All right, buckwheat flour, excellent for crepes, artichokes, perfect veggie meal, rice from Camargue, my staple for paella here in southern France, with mussels, clams, and broad beans, zucchini, cœur de boeuf tomato, sweet onions from the Cévennes, and bell peppers. These are the staples of a good ratatouille. Working with mine from Yucatan in Mexico and their home gardens, added squash, black beans, and colorful varieties of maize to my kitchen, along with pungent habanero and chili mash. Chaya, a euphorb, nopales from cactus as new greens, pitaya, which many of you might know as dragon fruit, or hikama, with some lime and chili mash, 
closer to home, endives, asparagus, Brussels sprouts are Belgian staples, and time. Uh, and, and <laughs> not bad, not bad. Twenty three ingredients, but sh two shorts of my list. Everyone wins, however, when we amplify this challenge. Together, we've listed forty seven ingredients in one minute. We are well on our way to building an exponential pantry for the spice of life. I see several ingredients being listed online right now. Keep building on this list over the next hour, everyone. And let it, Natalie, let's check in in the next break. But let's keep this challenge going beyond today. I challenge you, Febreze, and all your nerd friends at the Alliance of Biodiversity and SIA to continue to build on this list for the fall. Let's not only add ingredients, but also recipes, stories, nutritional values, and how to grow this diversity in an open source space. Challenge accepted, Michael. I love the idea of building an exponential pantry. Let's make sure that we regenerate both the diversity of ingredients in our pantry, but also the diversity of knowledge, local knowledge, culinary knowledge, nutritional information, agricultural knowledge, all are critical pieces of knowledge that accompanies diversity. Knowledge diversity, just like species diversity, is also extinction prone. Be well, Michael. Thanks for joining me today. And let's check in again in October to see how we're doing with this challenge. Michael and Fabrice. Thank you, Fabrice, for bringing me on. Michael, please go ahead. I didn't mean to cut your words. Yes, thank you, Fabrice, for bringing me on and um, having me on this challenge. Goodbye, everyone. And as our Yoruba people say, yeah, Odabo. Adavo. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Fabrice, uh, for such a fun challenge. Wow, I'm really impressed. Uh, wrapping chefs and uh, bringing on the ingredients. I really like the insects and I, I like the uh, local spirit, which is an added ingredient. I guess being Norwegian, South African, from South Africa, Mopani worms, from Norway, Rekir. Uh, those could be my ingredients. Anyway, um, what a fun challenge. Let's see how many we can get. Uh, minimum of 200, over 2,000 maybe, and keep that challenge going. Keep it coming with your ingredients. Thank you.